to cinema. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome back to Keep or Call, the show where we play all over 600 plus board games in 2021 and decide if we want to keep or call them, obviously, because that's the name of the show. Yes, and we're also giving away all the games that we decide to call. And we've got a lot of questions about filling out the forms. So, yes, you can enter each week if you want some games that we're calling. Mm -hmm. And you can use the same form each time. Yes. And we're going to be on a two-week delay. Yeah. So if you see this video today and mm -hmm. uh, fill out some forms to win some games, you're going to get the answers in, like, two videos. Yes. Yes. Oh, basically, because we film this uh, just a couple of days before it's released, then it's yes. going to film it. So it's going to be just logistically how it's going to be. So we're going to... Yeah. First winners are today for the first two weeks because we didn't get this before now. So now we have some winners for the first two weeks. First, we have two patrons who picked some games. And that is Lonnie and Shiner. So yay! Oh, congratulations nice. for picking games. <laughs> and then we have some actual winners. So we're just going to do first names and we're going to send you an email. Just because some, some people don't want their whole names on the internet thing. Probably your name is on the internet, but some we just do this for, for, for fun, I almost said. Not for fun, fun, just to make it easier. So the winners for this week is Samra, Delo, Jakob, Dale, Dan, Alina, and Sean. Yay! Congrats. We are going to send you an email and uh, talk about uh, what we're going to do next. So congratulations for winning. So let's get into this episode. Let's start off as always with the stats. Yes. This week we played 22 games. Uh, three of those were not for the challenge. We played uh, then, um, 19 games for this challenge. But some of them were like shorter, like more, a lot more shorter games this week. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm just waiting for the next question. How many hours yes. did we play? How many hours did we play? I'm getting play? used to this. I think that we have played a few, few less hours than the two weeks uh, before. So I think we have played 16 hours. 15 hours. Oh, I, I'm getting close. Yes, that's five hours less. It's, it's not, may might not sound like a lot, but it is kind of a lot. Like that is actually quite a few hours. That is it's quite five. a few games. That's a couple of games. And also we have played, as I already said, like some shorter games. Games. So these are, we had a couple of nights where we were just two players and we mm. played a lot of two player games. So, uh, oh, I almost forgot the thing that most people want to know. How much did Sunwa win? Yeah. So how much do you think you won? I think I won, I think I won more than you, but not by a lot. Yeah, you, you always think you win more than me. Yeah. I won eight times, you went to 112. Oh, yeah. So yes, you did win more than I won. Uh -huh. So let's start off with the first game. Yes. First game of today is Cosmic Encounter Duel. Mm -hmm. so, so, you ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom! Yay, this was not surprising to us because uh, I really, really like Cosmic Encounter. Mm -hmm. And when we played this, I, I can see what I tried to do, but it just doesn't work. The fun in Cosmic Encounter, like the wacky powers and like uh, communicating back and forth mm -hmm. and having these like two sided combats when you have to pick and choose your allies, this is. Uh, no, I, I, I want to play the real deal. I don't want to play this. No, I, and it, it was not for us. I know people like it, but for me it was very bad. Uh, <laughs> next up we have Tides of Time. So you're ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. Yes, it's, it's a fun game. Yep. It's a two-player drafting game. One of the two-player drafting games that actually work quite well. Yes. I enjoy it, but yeah, it's nothing amazing. Yeah, I agree. I, I enjoy it, but um, there is a lot of good two-player games mm -hmm. and I would not like choose that one every time. Um, okay, next up we have Orly uh -huh. This is a popular game, yes. so... One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was very unsure about this. Yes. Uh, and until you can see it in my eyes now that I picked go first and then remember no i wanted to keep this <laughs> um this was a game that first time i played it i i thought it was fine mm -hmm. and then we kind of didn't play it for a long time yeah and then when i play it again now and i i think it's a fine game yeah but i need some expansions for this yeah this is basically staying for me because i've heard the expansions are very good because mm. like it's it, it was fun to play it again i was like yeah it's it's good, but it's it, it's not there when I'm I'm ready to let it go mm. and just let it go and, <laughs> and remember that song. Uh, I, yeah, but this comes down to the expansions for me. Yeah, and these, we haven't played them, so yeah, uh, we're we we're very excited for that. Good. I've heard good things about it. I I I was very unsure, mm -hmm. so this uh, this might be called in future 
Mm. If you don't like the expansions. Yes. Okay, so let's keep over to your side. Over Next up, we have one of the first games I backed on Kickstarter. This one, when I think about these games, it's very early on. It's when games still were like something you didn't get 150, 200 of a year. Mm. Uh, it was, it was so like even now. I love getting new Kickstarter games. I love getting a new game. But it was more special before. Like when we only had, or when I had, because this were before you were like heavy into board games. Yes. We only had like 30 games on the shelf and getting a new game then was just so much joy and it, it still is but that that nostalgic though that feeling was it was different somehow and I, I love that feeling I just want to share that because it was it was this was one of the first ones I, I, I backed on Kickstarter it was a big oh. deal back then but most people never heard about it now so you ready yeah one two three boom yeah we're disagreeing about this no I, I, I had I had basically keep question mark yeah I think so, that is fine hmm. to have like a question mark there. So you lost horribly, is that why you're calling it? No, uh, because I have <laughs> won in this game previously. I remember how that feels. Uh -huh. uh, and I, I Do you remember have... do you remember all the games like the feeling of winning in oh, all yeah. games? Like yeah, you absolutely. just look at it you just look at the game like, Aww. oh that's the feeling of winning that one. Good that's the feeling of winning that one. <laughs> no, I um I have been wanting to play this for a long time because uh -huh. I think I only played it once or twice before. Yes, and you've played it quite some times. Yeah. And I was just like, Oh, let's play uh, right Roy, and mm -hmm. you were just like, uh, and now I finally got to play it, yeah. and I still think it's a, a good game. Yeah. I just, in this genre of um, heaviness, if you could call it in, in this level of heaviness, I... That makes more sense, and the, yeah. genre of, the genre of the genre of heaviness. heaviness. Like, what um, genre do you like? Heaviness. <laughs> but I will... I will often tend to forget that is this game exists, yeah. and I know that I will not miss it. Yeah. I, I, I can I can call it. It's, yeah. It kind of sits deep for me, but I will never like because the game is good, and um, but it's more here now I feel because of that nostalgic feeling, yeah. mm. and because it's one of the first one we got, and and it, it's kind of nice to to keep on to some of that nostalgia, like some of the first games but to say do. like. What what started off? Yeah, this is just me mm. going on a tangent yes. yeah. because like what did start us in 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 uh, in, in, in the hobby and then we look at the shelf and we have nothing. So let's not make that but happen. But I don't have that nostalgic feeling because nope. because I didn't back it. It's okay. And also I have only played it thrice now. Thrice. And, and you played it a lot, so yeah. I don't have this like emotional bond to this game. So I, 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 I don't I have it. I do not it. have an emotional bond to it. It's cardboard. But it is. <laughs> but yeah, like n n do not make me more crazy than I am already. Yeah. At. So yeah, I, I can call it. It's fine. I, 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 I think I'm fine with it. Okay. I might cry in my, my sleep. Next up we have Biblios. Okay. Oh, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. No I, surprise. No. Um, this is an auction game. And it's a fine auction game. It's a good game. We're keeping it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, let's... <laughs> no, you can say what you want to say. Uh, it's an auction game. <laughs> It's, it's a good a, game. We're a, gonna keep. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good auction auction game. But I I I think this feels like the same. Um, it scratches the same itch that Medici does for me. Mm. It's kind of the same. Um, a little push your luck, uh, bidding ish um, kind of game. Mm -hmm. And f in that genre, I would uh, pick Medici every time. So yeah. I don't see when I will pick this. I would also nice. pick Medici before this, but also this has a room for it. Like they're you different. You think they're different enough yes, to keep up? Yes, they're absolutely different enough. Yes. You, especially if this has like a two-faced thing, where you you have that push of the luck thing, which I yeah, it's kind of the same. Yeah, it is but kind I, of the same. But I, you can keep it. If I want to keep it. It's yeah. a good game. It's a good game. We're keeping it. Keeping yes. it real. Okay. Next up, we have the Prodigals Club. This one we have only played once. This was uh, we bought it basically because we uh, bought some other games and and the seller on market only on, also had this. I was like, oh, I want to play it because it's a lot of story game. We were not a huge fan of Lost Will, so let's see how this went. Yes. So one, two, three, boom. Yeah, I. I'm, it's not a bad game though. No, 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 it was fun. I, I enjoyed playing it. I even won. So people are saying like the games you lose, you fail. I would not have any games. But That's this, true for me. No. This is a, a fun game. I enjoy it, but it, it didn't give me that feeling. Oh, I need to play it again. Oh, That's yeah. basically it. Like I, I played it. Yeah, fun to play it. Mm, don't need to play it. Again. This was more fun than I thought I would. It would be. Yeah. Because uh, Lost Will, I wasn't a, that a fan of. Nope. But this game, I was just like, oh, there's some stuff here. There's some things stuff, to think about. Something. There is some decisions. Uh, some cool combos that mm -hmm. you can get. But yeah, it was just like an okay game. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Next up, we have Altiplano. Altiplano. Yeah. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, one, 
two, three, boom. Oh, you want to keep them both? Yes. Now, all the things that I wanted to say about Orleo, mm -hmm. I can say here because I have to kind of um, compare them when I talk about these games. Uh, and it was really interesting to play them both in the same week. Yeah. And I've been very, very in doubt if I need to keep both of them mm -hmm. or if I need to keep none of them. Yes. And I think they are different enough to keep both mm -hmm. if you like them because they have some um, positive and negative feelings about them both this you can go for more specific like strategy mm. and you can specialize in something from like the start and uh, the starting piece that you get like kind of shaped away and um, in Orleo you're more free to do what you want mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. um, in this game you have like advance the bag drafting a little it's different yeah no, it's more like a deck builder then basically yes basically but i kind of i i thought i liked this solution better, better yeah. but now i'm unsure because i think it's kind of fine in orleo as well yeah and this can kind of drag a little bit maybe mm -hmm. uh, and i feel like i'm not there now but i remember when we first got it and we played it a lot mm -hmm. i was just like oh i'm kind of done with this game now mm -hmm. i have explored what i need to explore yeah. i think it very quickly gets there before maybe early on mm -hmm. i don't know yes yeah I, mean, yeah I don't i don't really I, I don't know if i agree on that last part like mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if there's like more or less replayability in them and uh, like only was the events, but that doesn't really change up how nah, the game no, allows. No. So I, d I wouldn't say they are that different in, in, in that. They're more different, like the technologies in Orleans are more different, like the expansions are here mm. or the extensions. Um, I was really unsure about this. This yes. was like when I, I was, I've been sitting a long time this week, like thinking, do I need them both? And I came to the conclusion that we're not getting rid of all our games. Mm. Like we are not, this challenge is not to get rid of like 50 or 60 or 70% of the games. Mm. And if there are games I enjoy and I like them and I feel like, oh, I might want to play it again, then I, I think we can keep them. Yeah. So that's like this, we've been talking all about this this week, like oh, the, yeah. the, the core of all, if, um, like, because if we get rid of every game, I think I might be okay with not playing again in two years, then we could keep 50 games. Oh, yeah. uh, and, and, and we're not going there. So because of that, Altiplano uh, and Orleo are games that I would want to keep this time around. Yeah. And maybe if we do this again like in 3-4 years, it might go. Mm -hmm. But I would like to get the expansion and play that and see if it's fun. Yes. It's not going to happen this year because we, we're not playing it again this year because of everything. So yeah, uh, we're going to keep, keep it, it for now. Yes. yes. Okay, next up then is Shobu. We're on to, we played a lot of abstract games this week, so we started off with Shobu. So you ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. This yes. is a good game. I, when we, st when we set up to play this, I was like, yeah, I'm going to kill this. Oh, then yeah. I played it, and I'm going to keep it. Yeah. It is so much fun. It's so easy. Basically, you almost don't need the components. You just need some, some, some rocks. So we can some kill stones. it then. No, no. we can't, because <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice little game. And this is one of those games I'm very... I, I don't... yeah, you won. I'm mad at it, I think, but I think maybe I won once as well. It doesn't really matter. It's a fun game. I don't have too much to say. Check it out. It's a good, This is a different... very, very clever um, abstract game. It yeah. feels like kind of like chess because you're knocking pieces out. You but... mean like almost all abstract games? Yes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so it is an abstract game. Moving on. We're keeping it though. It's keeping a very it, yes. good game. Absolutely. Then we have... Uh, Onitama. Onitama. You ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You agree? Yes, I, I was, do. I was sure you're gonna go keep for this. Yeah, because we have, I have very much liked this game, mm -hmm. but we've played a lot of abstract games this week, and we've played better abstract games than this. And it's still a good abstract game, but it doesn't like give me this. Oh, I want to go again. I want to go again. Mm -hmm. Like feeling that I get for the others. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, we can call this now. Yeah, I was basically. I was never a huge fan of this. Yeah, you were. I, I, I never like I enjoyed it, but but you always wanted to play it, and I didn't want to play it. Because you so, lose yes. so we, every yeah. time. No, I don't think that's Aha. true. You don't 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 go spreading rumors about me not winning games. Okay, next up we have the one, the first game we got in the gift series. Yes. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Obvious keep. Yes. It's an amazing game. Like, this was the game. I didn't think I liked abstract games. Then we got this, and I played it. I was like, this is so much fun. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just having all the fun in the world. So, yeah, not too much to say. We're just keeping it. It's, this is it's, the it's a very good game, yeah. yes. 
Then we have a bit, tiny, tiny game. It's Circle the Wagons. It, this is in the this is the button shy, the 18 card games. But this is the three of them were uh, re-released by Quinted Games. I think then last time there was Spiel. So you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Boom. Oh, you want to keep it? Yes. Stitch your case. No, I just think it's a very fun. It's like a ti 10 minute two player game. You can basically, even if you want to have it even smaller, you can throw away the box and put it into like a sleeve. But it's a very nice box It's a box, very though. tiny box and a very Don't nice box. Don't throw away the box. So, so yeah, this is, I think this is a good one. I uh, enjoy it. It's like a, it has a very neat drafting mechanism that works very well with two players and I like it. Yeah, I, I, I agree. This is one of the three that we have played that I think is the strongest one. Mm -hmm. This is the best one and I think there's a lot of replay, replayability because uh -huh. of like the all the different scoring cards yeah. and also when it comes to these uh, putting cards down a little maybe overlapping to make areas. Mm -hmm. This is one of the better that I have played. Have you so. played very many of those? Like some like it's a genre some of games. Of them where you put I've things over some. other things. I don't and remember you're any names, but that is Walking because in Provence this is better. And Honshu are two. Yes, so those are those are worse. Okay, so next up then, spoiler alert, because you said you like this one the best. This is Dance Prolopolis, which yes. was the next one we played. So you're ready. Hmm, I wonder what <laughs> I think about this one. <laughs> one, okay. two, three, boom. Yes. This is basically the same designer, so it has a lot of the same element. Yeah. But it is a solo co-op game, and that is like I enjoyed playing it solo the one time I did that. But I would rather play Circle of the Wagons. Yeah, I agree. So uh, calling away. Next up, we have. Am I doing the right game? Yeah. Hanami Koji. Yes. Yes. You ready? Yes. You're like you're like. Next up, we have. Is this a game? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is this a game? Yeah, you it ready? is. Yep. So one, two, three, boom. Yeah, this is a, a very nice two-player game. This game makes me feel stupid when I play it. And I love it. I love how stupid it makes me feel because I I think that I have a plan. And then I'm just like, wait, huh? What? How do I even get? And there's so little that you can actually mm -hmm. do, but it's like the timing and manipulating the cards and the scorings and I just it's a very good game and, and this, I want to be good at it it's a very good game and it also has the weirdest thing that has ever happened in a board game if you have this game the first edition go and check if this yeah, happens yeah. to you as well pause the video now I would, and come back with your box I would, I would love, love this because when I open this game there are cards in it and then like there's this cardboard Insert, insert here and it happens sometimes that you have like cardboard in here but then I, I, I kind of looked at there was some images on it and this is the weirdest thing i have ever seen because and this is not a joke this i'm not i've not made this and put it into it i took this out and i was just amazed to see donald and minnie and mickey and goofy i i do not know why this is in my anime coaching this is this is the weirdest thing i have ever seen like it may like it's probably like the the the, the, the factory has reused some yeah, some yeah. cardboard, but it's just so weird to have this inside of Anima Goji. It's very nice that we're being like environmental and thinking about like the climate and stuff, but this was just too funny. It was a really really fun. So we keep it, it so it's it. over yes, here. We're keeping it. Next up, then we have Foothills a Snowdonia Experience. Yes. A Snowdonia game. Snowdonia Experience. You ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. Yes. You liked it. It was the first time I you played it. I liked it. Yeah. I really like Snowdonia. Mm -hmm. And I've heard good things about Foothills. And I I think that this gave me the Snowdonia feeling to player, but a little bit different mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. I don't remember how I felt about Snowdonia two players it's, though. Uh, um, I think that this was a solid game that mm -hmm. I would very much enjoy playing again. And has some really very neat mechanisms, like some very neat action selection mechanisms. Oh yeah. And scoring mechanisms. If you are into playing like a bit deeper two-player games, I think you should check out Foot. Oh yes, absolutely. So let's put it back here. It's a lot of keeping this. Uh, wait, no, it's your turn. Next Tsar. up, we have another game in the gift series. This yeah. is Tsar. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, I like abstracts now. Apparently, yeah, this especially is, this series. This is yeah, an amazing this series. This is if you haven't checked out these, and you think even if you think you don't like abstracts, go check them out because yeah. I didn't think that I would like them so much that I do. Mm -hmm. I I really get a lot of like entertainment from just these small puzzles, and yeah. my brain gets so addictive. I just wanna 
play them again and again and again and just beat the puzzle and feel smart. Yeah, this week, like when we played, we were like, these this games have games where we play them. Yeah. And I was sad we couldn't play them again. Yes, like, actually. Because we didn't have time. We had to play another game. Yes. And that's like, that's like the, but, 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 but otherwise we would not have played it at all. So that's like the, the, the positive thing to say here, like yes. because we wouldn't have time to play them. So next up then we have Yinsh. The, uh, these are the, this is the, the third one we played this week, the, the last one we played of the gift series this week. So you ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. Yeah. This, like, this is one the one I like the least so far. Is that um, because I won No, this? but and actually this is one of the favorites for most people. It's one oh, I yeah. like the least so far. I really far. like this. But I want to play it more because I do not have any idea how to play this game. And Tuna was just beating me into the bushes or something so, yeah. beating into the bushes beating well, into I, the bushes Boom. I, when i started playing these gifts games i was just like oh now i can finally figure out which i want to keep and which i want to call i'm keeping all of them i Easy. can't decide they're yeah. so good next up we have via nebula we yeah we play this uh with some friends who haven't played other games so like, yeah. this is the gateway into martin wallace games yes you ready yep one two three yeah, it's a it's a fine game, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely it's still gonna be in my top ten gateway games. I'm I'm, I'm because it's a very nice gateway game. But, but do you I, still think it's yeah, in it? So, it, so you actually like you enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, I really I enjoyed it. I enjoyed and did not enjoy but it a lot. I enjoy it as for what it is. It's a very very good at teaching the players the mechanisms in a, in a nice way. But the, when we played it now the mm -hmm. last time, it was like just a notch too simple. And mm. it dr dragged a little, and then then, but that was okay. It took an hour with, before players. With new so players, it's, no problem at that's all. A short game. No problem at all. But mm -hmm. I was just like, it doesn't really matter that much what I do because almost every and you can maybe debunk me on this theory. Maybe you have like some deep strategies in this game. No, no problem. Deep strategies. Uh, but for me, I I I have played it now. And I'm happy with the times that I've played it. Mm. And I'd rather give this game to someone that enjoys it more than yeah. me. It's a fun game, but of the three games, the last two as well, we played with, with uh, that couple. And uh, this was the one they liked the least. Yes. Uh, mm. And it felt like that at least. I, yes. I don't think they said it explicitly, but I, I think that this was the one yes, they liked the least. Yes, I think so too. So we have then two more games. I'm gonna the tower. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, uh, this is cool. We have then another one that they did enjoy more, which is Quadropolis. So one, two, three, boom, keep down. Keep forever. It's it's the this best. This is so good. Yeah, it's so good. It's it's amazing. It has an even like the classic one. I feel like I, I need to play the expert if I want to play it more because yeah. I played classic like twenty times. But we also have the expansion. Yeah, I don't we think do. I don't know if that adds a lot, but I we haven't know. played it. We have it. But it's it's a great game that we are gonna keep. I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, I asked, we only have I asked the internet what they thought we were going to do, and it was very divided. And Broken Meeple Luke, he was thinking that we were going to call it. Is that because no. he just wanted to call everything. Yeah, but <laughs> he did. So the last game was the last game we played. A four players last night, which oh, is true. That's this a, this is a Knizia game. The first time you played it, the second time I played it, and this is one that is Kind of like uh, Blue Lagoon and Babylonia, where you're making was this rolls. The was the second time you played it? It was the second time I played it. Yeah, I thought you would like see some clever stuff to do in this game the second time you played it, but you didn't. <laughs> because we were like crushed by the by another player, both of us, all three of us actually, and she was like just super clever in this game, and we were like. We didn't start a chance. I did some very nice initial placement that got me very, nope. very, very nothing. nice. Okay, yes. so you're ready. Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Yeah. Um, this is a good game though, but I have Blue Lagoon. But it's so different. Like I do not see how you yeah, feel it's the same game. I agree. No, it's not the same game. I am very unsure, so we can keep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight you because it was like cold question mark on my list. And this is like it's it's I love this so much because you there's it's so simple. Like 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 the people we play with they haven't played many games but they are very smart getting the games very yes. quick. But this is like I, when I taught the rules they were like oh that is that's all the rules. That's so yeah. cool. Like because the rules are basically place two camels, the end. Yeah. Like that is that is eighty percent of the rules and it's so. It's so great, like these games that have almost no rules and just so much going on and like it's so tight, like if you play this with five players it would be probably horrible. So I think three, four players is the best. I, I like this a lot. I want to yeah. play this more. So which one do you like most, like for now, Babylonia or To the Desert, if you should choose one? 
but it's so different because Babylonia has a lot more things going on. But does it? Uh, yeah, oh, it's yeah, more absolutely. like rules, it has, but... it has a lot more going on because there's different symbols, different, you have to score different temples with different mm. symbols. Mm. And, and here it's just the length and just the blocking. Yeah, I and thought this was more elegant of game design. This is more design. like a, a go, where you're trying to like make uh, areas yeah. and block off. Mm. More of that than, than and anything else. So yeah. I would love to see like a, a reprint of this. That this is, is actually... the reprint. Oh, it is? <laughs> but it looks so... Yeah. It's no. It looks amazing. It, it looks like... Like it's made in the 90s but but this it, is the funny. this is the uh, euro classic series from, from yeah from Final, it's just like Final the Final Final. No, washed that. out pieces uh, coloring pieces it's pastel colors basically it is yeah, so very, very that nice. is more games so we ended up not calling that many this week we ended up calling one two three four five six seven but that is still over 30 percent it is because 30 percent was our goal so we have this now that is uh, called... Uh, I'm trying to get the last pile into the image so you can see that. And so far we are ahead. Like we have played uh, more than 15, week, 15 weeks, more than 15 games every week so far. Yes. And we are getting, um, of course, like when you play these smaller games, it's a bit more inflated. But last week we played 18 games and most of them were bigger games. Mm. This week we didn't play that many big games, like five, six big games and the rest were kind of small. But, so there's a lot of hours left, but we are like inflating the, uh, the, the amount of games. So we have played over 60 games now for the first three weeks, which is That great. is not bad. That is like 10, a bit under 10%. Yeah. Oh, it's a little depressing when you think about that, buying, but I think we're like, uh, had a, a like a nice like shoot off if it's a start. A, with nice, a nice start. A yes. nice shoot off. Shoot off. Course. Like, yeah. So, so are you having fun so far? I'm having fun so far it goes like some evenings i'm just like oh i didn't really want to play games uh, tonight uh -huh. but uh, usually when we start playing i'm having a lot of fun uh, the like the upside of playing at a lot of games that i've played before mm -hmm. is that i don't fall asleep when i'm i'm learning the rules yeah because that is like one of the main problems when i'm playing games it is absolutely so that yeah it's the end of another week. Yeah, please go into the forums and let us know which of these games you might like. And we'll yes. get that out in two weeks. And that is the end of the video. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, please do so now. It's free. If you want to do something that's not free, you can go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and support us there. And you'll also be able to pick a game, um, like a first pick of a game throughout the year. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sarah. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye-bye.